Hello, and welcome to another edition of Business Automations with Ben. Today's topic is Google Sheets. I've worked for companies of all shapes and sizes, and it seems that almost everyone in some capacity or another can take advantage of Google Sheets. For entrepreneurs and small business owners, Google Sheet can be vital to your day-to-day -day operations. I'm gonna show you just a few ways that people are automating their Google Sheet on IF. Let's get started here on the Google Sheet service page, if.com slash Google underscore Sheets. This is a great way to see how others are automating their Google Sheet on it. Over 180,000 people are using Google Sheets with their location service on it to track how much time they spend in specific areas. So like, for instance, the office or how much time they're spending at home. Nearly 7,000 Android users are using Google Sheets to back up all of their text messages. This is either your lawyer's dream or your lawyer's nightmare. Over a quarter million people are using Google Sheets on IF to back up all of their iOS contacts. Over 28,000 folks on IF are using Google Sheets to track their daily fitness activity. IF is also a great way to track all of your tweets into a Google Sheet or every time someone tweets about you into a Google Sheet. This applet that I created here will take the information from a new row in a Google spreadsheet and automatically create a new MailChimp subscriber. Whereas this applet here will do the exact same thing, but in reverse and take the information you get from a new MailChimp subscriber and add it as a new row in a Google spreadsheet. I can log all of my completed tasks and to doist into a Google spreadsheet, or I can let Google spreadsheets be the prompt for creating new tasks into do list. I can then give myself a day, week, or month to complete that task in Google Calendar. And of course, I can do this automation in reverse as well. My boss is always asking me to write blogs for the IFT website. I hate writing blogs and I dread getting his email with new blog topic ideas. Fortunately for me, Google Sheets is a shared workspace in the cloud, and I've asked my boss to put all of his new blog topic ideas that he wants me to write into a specific Google spreadsheet. This next applet is going to show you why I do that. The trigger for this applet is new row added to Google spreadsheet. Now I can either add the folder path and the file name here, or I can simply copy and paste a link to the doc here. I'll hit create trigger. Next, I'm gonna add a query by hitting this plus button here, then hit the plus button next to the query. And we have three artificial intelligence tools here. The one that I want is the AI content creator. I'm gonna select this very first one, draft content on a given topic. Now I'm gonna select my tone. Some really great options here. I think for what we're trying to do, we really just either want a casual or say a professional tone. For the topic, we want to click add ingredient and we want to pull that from column A and create query. For action statement, there's hundreds of different ways we can do this and have this information sent to us. I'm simply going to stick with the Google theme and send myself a Gmail. So we'll click add Gmail and click send yourself an email. For the subject, I'm going to click add ingredient like column A and then for the body I'm going to delete this entire default click add ingredients click this first drop down here and select this query that we just created draft content on a topic click the content button here and click create action so just a real quick recap of what this is going to do my boss is going to add a new row to a spreadsheet and in that row he's going to give me a topic for which he wants me to complete a blog post for. That topic is then gonna be sent to our AI tool and it's gonna draft up some content on the topic, helping me avoid writer's block. And then it's gonna send that content to me in a Gmail. Click continue. And I'm just gonna title this applet blank page syndrome and finish. Okay, so here is the Google Sheets titled Blog Topics. As you can see in column A is where my boss would put a topic. 
Haiku sheet automated on if that of course then prompted Gmail to send me this here. As you can see, the title is the topic Google Sheets automated on if we pulled this from column A and then the AI content creator gives us about a three to 400 word head start. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you got something to say, let us know in the comments. Also, you can click the link here for more IF videos. And remember kids, stay off the streets and automate Google Sheets.